like an ex that you couldn't get over for a while But maybe I just didn't know that I was my first love at that time He's so hot Repeat So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me to go out on a Saturday night. It's currently 9.20 p.m. I was just working on my art project and now I just showered. And I'm going to be answering some questions from my Instagram story while I show you guys my makeup routine in the process. One of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I really want to redo the first ever video that I posted on my YouTube. Which was the same concept as this one, getting ready while I answer questions. I hated it because it was so cringe. By the way lotion honestly primer like the base is really important before you put on foundation or anything because i recently realized that if i stay out for too long my skin like the base literally cracks up and it's disgusting this is like a cream that i honestly like all the skincare things that i've discovered and started using were korean skincare products i saw on tiktok and i started using them and Honestly, I don't know if there's any difference from when I started using them. I just do it because... I just do it because it really works well as a primer. That is what I used. That's what I used. I usually use this as well before I go to bed. It's really good and it's like very moisturizing and it's also good for hyperpigmentation apparently. But right now I'm not going to use it because I don't want my skin to be too sticky and i put on um sunscreen i know it's 9 p.m but i use it as uh primer i also saw this thing where like primers clog up your pores or something and i don't want to like risk that and then these two it's like mists it smells really good this one i put on first and this smells really good i saw Fernanda using it on her TikTok and also my friend using it. I really liked it when my friend used it. And I just like let that dry for a sec. And like one of you guys asked me, spill your skincare routine. That's literally it. Minus one step before I go to bed. How to deal with loneliness when studying abroad. If you guys don't know yet, I live in New York for college. I go to NYU, so I've been studying in New York for a year now. And this is my second year, so I'm pretty used to the environment and how things work around here a little bit. So I do understand how some people could feel lonely at times because I've literally been there and I still am. Once I've moved into New York, I had a couple of friends back from Korea that have also moved to New York with me. That really helped me to get used to the environment really quick but that also restricted me from trying to make new friends but i'm not complaining i really love my friends a lot but honestly one thing that i would say because also the fact that i go to a college without a campus it's really hard to make more friends as the campus is literally spread wide apart one thing that i would say is that maybe try out for sororities slash frats or attend events that they host and just keep up to date to what they are doing and especially make friends from your classes right at the start of the semester before everyone finds their like group i think that that's like the perfect timing to make friends but studying abroad it's an experience not a bad one i honestly like it because i also have lived in singapore as well for my middle school years and honestly as an introvert myself i also struggled getting out of my comfort zone trying to talk to new people that really intimidated me but once you get there it's not that hard just make sure to balance out your private life and your social life and you'll be like healthy in a mentally good way now my my trick here my face is like really, really splotchy red around my face i have this liquid lipstick just pick out any one that matches your skin tone best and i just dab a little bit it's like color correcting basically i just don't know what product i should buy if i really want to commit to the color correcting products and just dab on parts where i have purple around like dark circles or just like dark areas and i just first apply that and it just 
evens out the whole surface as a solid color so that once I apply my concealer, it'll be all the same shade of my skin tone. Now I'm gonna be doing my concealer. This is a Korean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a Korean brand. I put on that much. I don't put on too much because I still want the natural skin base effect covering my pimple areas and then in this step as well i grab my liquid lipstick and put a little less than before because none of the concealers that i try to find matches my skin tone it's like a bit too yellow for me so i have to like mix the colors <laughs> 전여친이랑 7년 사귄 남자 versus 1년에 일곱 명 만난 남자 솔직히 말하자면요 as a person who hasn't been able to be in a relationship for more than a year yet, I respect people that have been able to stay in a relationship for over a year. And the amount of commitment that they had for that relationship, I would prefer that more than a person who dated seven people a year, red flag. Um, but at the same time, there are people who can't get over their long-term relationships, so I'd rather just stay single. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Low key in my single slay and era, I cannot commit to any relationships at this point. I've gone through way too much this summer. I need a break. <laughs> okay, now I do like the contour. I use Fenty Beauty. I bought another shade, which was my first shade that I bought from this brand. And it was in the shade Mocha. It was too yellow for me. I'll give you like a demonstration. This is the difference. This is the shade that I use. This is the shade I used to use. What a fucking foul. Wish I realized that way sooner. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wrong shade. <laughs> and then I also do a little here. It just gives more dimension to the whole face structure. And also over here. Favorite Netflix show. I recently watched um three netflix shows but my favorite was one piece zoro is way too hot what makes you think i'd want to play pirates with you like i genuinely cannot get over him now i'm just gonna like binge watch all the movies that he filmed when he was younger he's so hot and luffy as well i know wait i think he's like 17. not in a weird way he's just really good looking in that movie and he's so good at acting as well and i use this too curl my eyelashes and now i do my eyebrows depending on what clothes i want to wear and how i will style my hair i use two different colors for my eyebrows either brown or black but today i'm gonna use black i just this is like a good tip i go far back and then draw as lightly as possible so that i don't turn into jungle how do you handle friendship breakups? Um, I've only had like one that I could remember. Obviously, the first few months after the breakup, it could be a little awkward if you bump into them in school. Eyebrow gel, NYX, control freak. I need to buy a new one. But anyways, like depends on the situation. If the friendship breakup is about the disagreements in many things or just the small things that builds up the confrontation is very difficult but you gotta do what you gotta do and for me i kind of developed as a person to just let go really easily i believe that i don't need that kind of person in my life if it just causes more trouble keeping them in my life and just separate our ways but if it's something about where they did you dirty or you did them dirty it's just like a given and it could be devastating about how whose fault it is and whatever whatnot and the aftermath that you have to take care of and clear up my friendship breakup was just there was a lot of sides to it so honestly it's just i'm over it it's been a long time and we're both in college so I gotta do my eyeshadow before I put on my eyeliner. So I have this Charlotte Tilbury palette, Pillow Talk Dreams. I take this shade. This is a little too red for me, I feel like. I take that shade, kind of blend that in in the edges. And especially for like Asians who have small creases, this is like another tip that you could use. I 
like can you see I not only put over here but I also put it in the crease and it just like gives more like depth in that area and I also apply it here and then really lightly I do my egg yosar and I also blend it with my finger and then now I do my eyeliner wait actually I do my lips because in the color raisin and this just kind of helps with the rest of my eye makeup if I don't have lip on while I do my eye makeup, I tend to do my eye makeup really jinage. And then I also put the same lip liner as my sketch of the eye line, matching the same shade with the lip and eye just like really satisfies me. I'm not a professional. Oh my god, it's so red. Okay, this is how the redness goes away. My eyeliner, it's brush, not sponge. I like brush way better because it's more precise. I'm like, do you see how much better that is? I make sure to fill in, like, the lash area. Okay. And my pimple is showing. I f***ing hate that. So I need to cover it up again. Just let that sit there. Now I do my mascara. It's, like, really detailed in the brush area. I just, like, don't do all the way in the roots because if I do, I just become a panda. What's your number one song in your favorite playlist? I mean, the recap from the Spotify thing showed that I listened to Youth or Ariana Grande songs, but a song that I cannot stop playing is Next Level by Espa, but the remix version. Just need to turn that on right now. I'm on the next Well, yeah, anyways, that's like the song that I cannot stop listening to. Funny story. I was in my drawing class this week and while we were just like doing drawing time, I just felt the sudden urge to listen to s -Pot. So I was just like in shuffle. But then this song came up. I'm like, no way this is next level. And then I keep on listening to it. It's just so good. And I can't stop listening to it from now on. It's a liquid highlighter. And as you can tell, I just don't use brush at all. And then I also put it here on my Eggosar. I blend that out only at the front. I grab my blush. Where is this from? Yummy skin. Just this much and I just really lightly. And then I put my highlighter on top of that on my nose. It's so good. Can you tell? Like literally you can tell on camera too. It's so good. On only the inner side. Lip glow oil from Dior in the shade Cherry Oil. I just like abuse that shit on my lips. It looks so good on camera. Oh, I also saw one question how like tips on taking good pictures. Honestly, it's the angles. And also I realized looking natural and like taking pictures in a natural setting instead of like posing for photos like oh like let's take a photo like if you're not in an event like it's just more natural to just take a photo like while drinking coffee like have something in your hands now that i'm done with my makeup this cream for my hair let me just dry my hair i just came back from dry my hair another question sarang versus ujong i've always thought that Friendship was the most important. Relationships don't last for me. I cannot deal with relationships. As I was talking about previously in the video. So there's an obvious answer to that. Mentally, I think I am more similar to my dad. And my brother is more similar to my mom. It's a very good mix and match within the jeans. First love. I don't think I've had my first love. I don't know what to count as my first love. It's just really confusing, that whole concept to me. Does being obsessed over your ex just mean that you've already had your first love? I don't know. It's just like I, like an ex that you couldn't get over for a while. But maybe I just didn't know that it was my first love at that time. I just thought that this was a funny question because there's a variety of answer to this. It, my friend's comment is so funny because <laughs> these days this is a really TMI because I've been playing it's a little embarrassing but I've been playing PUBG Mobile with my friends when we don't have anything to do um, <laughs> what's your average kill count in PUBG? 
Guys, not to brag, but I've reached my high score like this week, 11 kills. I need to choose my outfit. I just don't know what to wear. So I need to go to my saved post on Instagram and get inspired. It's literally what I do every single day before I go out because I cannot think of any outfits on top of my head. Um, it's so cold. I mean, I'm not complaining. Like this is like the perfect weather for like hoodies and jeans, but I'm going out. And that's not really good for going out. Oh, and it's also raining. I forgot. Okay, wait. I'm gonna change and come back. I'm just wearing a bomber jacket and brown tank top and shorts and boots with maybe leg warmers. Um, but that was basically it. And I hope that I don't have any things that I missed. Yeah, um, that's basically it. I hope this video covers up for the video that I deleted because it was really embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, well, see you next time. Thank you for watching the video. Bye. <laughs>